A new season means many people are looking to change up their looks. From trying that new makeup trend to buying a new wardrobe, there's a ton you can do. One of the most impactful, changing your hair color. We're being joined by hairstylist and colorist Amber Zink, and she's here to tell us about some of summer's hottest hues that'll have you turning heads all summer long. Welcome, Amber. Thank you, thanks for having me. It's always fun changing your look up. It can always. be a little scary because once you do something like dyeing your hair, mm -hmm. it's changed and it's it can take changed. a while to get back. Yeah, it's often our security blanket. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Same with long hair versus short hair as yeah, well. Very true. So when it comes to trends, are we, do you see things changing every year or seasonal? Or is it something that kind of just goes as it wants? Um, I think it follows a cycle. We have our true staples, our classic colors that just will always remain in rotation. Um, they're safe and beautiful. And then we have our more sort of daring and um, trendy colors. So. so before we get started in what we're seeing right now for the summer, what are those classics? Um, any sort of blonde, really. It's, it's always blondes do have more fun. <laughs> um, anything that is sort of that natural but doesn't, um, but doesn't bore, right. you know? Yeah, has um, a little eye-catching, but not so eye-catching that you're wondering. But even with blondes, yep. I mean, there's different shades, colors, all of that with blondes. So that's your first one. And right now, yep. tell me about buttery blondes for what we're seeing. Um, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of girls are ditching the purple shampoo and going for a much more sort of organic blonde, um, thanks to the dramatic transformation of Billie Eilish. I don't know if you've seen her transformation, but she has just this gorgeous, true platinum blonde. And I think that that's going to be around to stay for a little while. And we're sure. looking at the image right now. Yes. So. There's a difference though between, you know when you get your hair done blonde and you aren't using purple shampoo and it really starts to pull that gold color that you just don't like? Yep. There's a difference between purposely having it done like this and just letting your natural gold kind of come out, right? There is, okay. yeah. So every light blonde underneath is going to have that natural yellow pigment and it's just going to be flat. You're okay. <clears throat> flat um, and it's just not gonna shine, it's just gonna look raw. Raw is the word that we tend to use in the salon. So going right. in and having like a purposeful toner put in to really have that depth and warmth um, to give it that natural sort of summery blonde shine. That's really gonna be that big difference. And you were saying this kind of follows that 70s palette. Yeah. Along yeah. with some 70s cuts that we're seeing. The 70s is, is huge right now. I mean, history repeats itself and we're gonna take the most impactful of the decades and we're gonna take it and make it our own. And I think 2021 is huge with the shags and the mullets and I love mullets. <laughs> Bring them back. Mullets. Yeah, I love them. the Farrah Fawcett. I mean, it's the curtain bangs. It's a lot of fun. And with that comes all of the fun, warm, rich auburns and coppers and just so the warm tones are back. The warm tones are back. Yeah, the rich warm tones, though, is what rich. you're talking about. Yes. So like this hair that we're looking at right now, that's beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. And mm -hmm. so, I mean, especially if you are brunette, pulling that or adding some of that auburn redness to it, as long as your hair can hold it. I tried it once when I was younger and it <laughs> faded to orange real quick. Oof. Yeah, that, that can <laughs> tend to happen. But just complimenting using coppers and warm tones to complement your natural brown brunette, um, it can just make the most subtle yet beautiful difference in the hair. And then balayage. Yeah. We've heard about this for a while now, Forever. but thanks to quarantine, <laughs> it's staying around because it's less maintenance. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's got those COVID roots, you know, and you go one way or the other, you're either going to embrace your natural and go all the way, or you're going to go, hey, I can only get my hair colored once a year and it doesn't look that bad. I'm kind of into it. So. So 
As far as like an ombre goes too, mm -hmm. and balayage, what's like the main difference? So balayage is actually the like name of more so a coloring technique than it is an actual look. So you can do like a balayage ombre, you can do like a balayage highlight. Um, it's basically translates to hand painted and very soft. So like very blended, like difficult to tell where there's a start and a stop. So okay, yeah. So ombre, you can tell the start and stop, and balayage, you can't, or vice versa. Vice versa. Okay, yes. so ombre, you can't tell balayage, you can tell. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the fun thing about that too is if you have darker hair, it can go to lighter, and if you have lighter hair, it can go to darker. So yeah. it, it works both ways. The for possibilities everyone. are endless. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. 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 I've always wanted to try that. Then this one, this this last one, money pieces. Yeah. I see this all over. Yeah. So fun. Yeah, it's kind of just the complete antithesis of the last trend we were talking about, right? Like, I think not blended at all. Not blended at all, and I think it's huge with the younger generation, like the the Gen Zers, um, just having strong, impactful, uh, opposite colors, contrast, contrasting yeah. colors. Yeah, where did this come from? You know, <laughs> someone just did it once. Maybe someone a. Uh, maybe a celebrity or something and then it just stuck? I think so. I also, and I don't, I know it's a controversial take, but the 90s and 2000s, like chunky Kelly Clarkson highlights. Oh yeah, I, I loved those. I think that is making a little bit of a resurgence in a more updated way. So right, just the front money pieces. The money pieces, they're so fun. I and see a lot of people with dark hair do it with blonde. Yes. But I, have you ever seen someone with blonde do dark pieces? I haven't seen that. I have, I mean, that's definitely a little bit more of an edgy take for sure, right. going the other way around. But I mean, at the end of the day, hair's hair, it's a canvas. And yeah. if you think can think of it, it's probably been done, so. <laughs> oh, fun. I well, know it. I, I wish I had the courage to do something fun, but I get too nervous. So thank you so much for coming in yeah, and keeping us up to date so on the much. hair trend. Thank you.